Hello, and welcome to the latest episode of The Trump Show, where we bring you the most outrageous and hilarious news about the former president of the United States, Donald Trump. I'm your host, Lindsay Surtnames, and today we have a lot of juicy stories to cover, so let's get started. First, we have the shocking revelation that Trump is actually Putin's buddy in vileness, according to none other than Nancy Pelosi, the former Speaker of the House. Pelosi was outraged by Trump's insensitive and self-centered remarks about the death of Alexei Navalny, the Russian opposition leader who was poisoned and imprisoned by Putin's regime. Navalny died last week in a remote Arctic prison after a long and courageous fight for democracy and human rights in Russia. But instead of honoring Navalny's legacy or condemning Putin's brutality, Trump used the opportunity to compare himself to Navalny, claiming that he was also a victim of political persecution and injustice. Trump said that he was facing unfair lawsuits and investigations and that he was being treated worse than Navalny. Can you believe this guy? He has no shame, no empathy, and no values. He is so obsessed with himself that he can't even recognize the difference between a hero and a villain. Pelosi was not having any of it. She slammed Trump for his disgraceful comments, calling him Putin's buddy in vileness. She said that Trump showed his true colors as a person who does not care about democracy, human rights, or the rule of law. She also mocked him for his financial troubles, saying that he looks like he's going to be a person without dollars. Ouch. That must have hurt Trump's ego, especially since he's facing a huge debt of almost $355 million, plus interest after losing a fraud case in New York. That's right, folks. Trump is not only a moral bankrupt, but also a financial one. He was ordered to pay a whopping $355 million in damages and penalties after a judge ruled that he defrauded investors and customers in a failed real estate project. Trump had promised to build a luxury tower in Manhattan, but instead he delivered a shoddy and unfinished building that was plagued by defects and lawsuits. He also lied about his involvement and ownership in the project, inflating his role and reputation to lure unsuspecting buyers. But the truth finally caught up with him, and now he has to pay the price. Literally. And that's not the only legal battle he's facing. He's also under investigation for tax evasion, campaign finance violations, obstruction of justice, and inciting the Capitol riot. He's in deep trouble, and he knows it. That's why he's desperately trying to rally his base and revive his political career by speaking at the Conservative Political Action Conference, IPAX, in Maryland this week. PAX is the biggest gathering of conservative activists and politicians in the country. And it's usually a platform for potential presidential candidates to showcase their vision and agenda. But this year, it's more like a Trump cult convention where the former president is expected to dominate the stage and the spotlight. He's going to use the event to repeat his lies about the election, attack his enemies, and tease his plans for 2020. Four, he's also going to face off against Nikki Haley, the former unambassador and governor of South Carolina, who is seen as one of his main rivals for the Republican nomination. Haley has been trying to distance herself from Trump after initially supporting him and his policies. She recently criticized him for his role in the Capitol riot, saying that he let us down and that he went down a path he shouldn't have. She also said that she doesn't think he's going to run again and that the party needs to move on from him. But Trump is not going to let her get away with that. He's going to lash out at her and try to undermine her credibility and popularity and popularity. He's going to make it clear that he's still the boss and that anyone who dares to challenge him will be crushed. So, there you have it. That's the latest news about Trump, the most controversial and entertaining figure in American politics. What do you think about his comments on Navalny, his fraud case, his peace speech, and his feud with Haley? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on The Trump Show. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.